So what I want to do on this video is to create something that looks like this and we'll plot this function and see why it looks different first and then try to determine why uh, how to plot this within one unit circle. Okay, so what I'll try to do is the function is given by this either by x squared minus y squared or by y squared minus z squared. So if I was to plot the function a little bit bigger. So if I was to say plot 3D x squared minus y squared and let's say we plot this from about minus 3 to plus 3 and then y values from minus 3 to plus 3 as well. So if I was to only plot this what it gives me is something that looks more like this without this very nice rounded edge and the way we get something like this is you got to imagine intersecting a cylinder of say some radius with this surface here so if I was to just show what that looks like if I first draw if I first get a cylinder so let's say I do that using uh, I can get that using a parametric plot and So the parametric plot of a cylinder is given by, say, I want, suppose I want the cylinder to have a radius of, let's say, 3. So I could say 3 cos here, and the y component given by 3 sin here, and the z component just given by, let's say, v. And I want the u to go from 0 to 2 pi and the v component to go from let's say minus uh, let's say about minus 5 to plus 5 okay so th the only thing this changes is the height the 3 here just determines the radius of the cylinder okay and that's what I've got here what I want to do now is to just show you what it looks like if I intersect this object with this one here and one way to do that even if you're plotting two three-dimensional plots using uh, a different function so one is a plot 3d and the other one is a parametric plot you can combine them using the uh, show command so let's make that a bit bigger so if I use show oh if I can use show I need to assign some names for this so I'll say this is plot number one just say is equal to that and let's say this is plot number two Okay, so if I then say show plot 1 comma plot 2, it combines the two of them together. Okay, what I clearly need is this to be a little bit larger. So let's say I make this from minus 9 to plus 9, so that it makes the cylinder a little bit bigger. Okay, so I think that's just enough. So maybe minus 10 to plus 10. So the way we obtain this one, the way we want to obtain this is to actually plot only the part of this surface of the x squared minus y squared curve only to plot what appears within this cylinder and if you think about it if you look at the cylinder from this angle this gives you a circle with a radius of 3 and the equation of a circle in the x and y plane is given by x squared plus y squared is equal to 9 so what I want to do is only plot the part of this surface here such that x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 9 in the x and y plane. And the way we can do that is if I once again just take this function here, say plot 3D. So let me make that font bigger. So clearly this will produce the same thing we had before. If I only want to plot this from within this range, the command for it is called a region function. Okay, and the easiest way to figure out the notation for it is if you just go on to plot 3D and look at the options okay what you see is one of the options on the plot 3D is the plot uh, is the region function and the notation for it goes something like this so the function part if it's plot 3D the arguments you pass to it are x y and z so I'll say uh, I want region function and I want to say function uh, x, y, z 
comma and then I need to say I only want to plot this within the range such that x squared plus y squared is less than 9 okay and the reason it's less than 9 is because that's what gives me a unit circle or that's what gives me a circle with a radius of 3 so if I now run this okay, just close that bracket there there you go so what you'd find is if I was to make this say plot number 3 and combine that with the cylinder this graph should fit exactly within this cylinder here so let's just check that so maybe we'll call this one plot 3 and I'll just see what it looks like when I combine uh, plot number 2 which is the cylinder with what I've just got here okay and what you can see is the outline here of that shape and that and this shape here this hyperbolic paraboloid fits exactly within the cylinder of a radius of 3 and I can make the so just another option is if I say plot style and opacity of let's say 0 0.6 so now we should be able to see that this lies exactly within this cylinder here 